Hello, this is Ralph Landrum. I want to thank you for taking lessons from me. This is one of the little drills that we did that helps you to keep turning uh, your body through the, through the ball so you don't stop and flip it too much with your hands. This is the electric fence dog collar theory. Remember, we went over this. Put an electric fence in, put a collar on the dog. He'll go near that fence one time, get shocked, won't do it any. This is kind of the same thing. So take your club, choke way down onto it, all the way on the hosel. You're going to swing back about halfway, and again, that club should point pretty much at your target line. We know that. And if you turn through and hit ball and swing like this, this club won't hit you on the side. You'll see here, it doesn't ever even get close to hitting me. But when I stop my body and flip it with my hands, that's where it zaps me in the ribs. Like the electric fence dog collar theory, it shocks you. So that's our little thing here. If we'll just take this, you can choke down. Try not to let that club hit you on the side. And that will really help you to continue to pivot. It'll help you get the shaft leaning forward. That will really improve your contact. So again, hey, thanks for taking lessons from me. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to do the electric fence dog collar theory golf, golf club uh, practice drill. You do that a few times a week. You can do it in the house. Don't have to be outside hitting golf balls to do this one. And uh, I promise you your game will get better. So thanks again.